Hi, at, at most an eight-part tutorial on how to do June 2008 Math B Regions. I'm on part three, question number 27. Um, they give you this table with their X and Y value, and they want to know um, they want to know uh, an exponential regression for this data set. So basically, these points don't fit onto a perfect curve, but there's an approximate curve. And the way you do this is you have to type these numbers. Uh, the x values go into L1. You push stat um, and enter, and that allows you to input the x values into L1, <clears throat> the y values into L2. And then it's four keystrokes, stat. Then you push to the right, and then you go down for exponential regression. Read this question carefully. So you do the right one. This is you go down to number 0, x reg. And when you hit enter twice, you get your equation. And I'll write down the equation that I got, and it says to round to the nearest thousandth. So the equation that I got is y equals 4.193. Uh, actually, it's got to be rounded to the nearest thousandth. So that's going to be 4.194. Times 1.0675 uh, rounds to 0.8 to the x power. Now this question is only worth four points, so if you round it wrong, you lose a point. Now the next thing they ask you to do is to use this equation to predict the amount of water that will saturate one cubic meter of air at 50 degrees Celsius. So they're telling you to plug x equals 50 into this equation. They want to know what would the y value be then. Now, you have to be careful here also. It says um, using this equation. And some people aren't sure whether to use the rounded one or the original one. But you, you, you should use the rounded one. So when you plug, uh, when you do 4.194, times 1.068 raised to the 50th power. You get 112.5. They want you to round this answer to the nearest tenth of a gram. So y equals 112.5. And that's how you do that. Moving on to question number 28. Well, here you have a uh, right triangle <clears throat> with the hypotenuse there on the bottom. And there are two uh, formulas from geometry, relationships from geometry, you should be aware of um, that come up often on this, on this regions. So one of them is if you have a right triangle and you have an altitude drawn in, and if the altitude is called x and this piece is called a and that piece is called b, um, because of similar triangles, you get this rule that the altitude is the mean proportional between the two pieces of the hypotenuse. In other words, x over a equals b over x. Another relationship that they sometimes ask you about, and in this question, they are asking you about this one. I'll put an x here, an a here. Um, I'll call this thing b also. And in this configuration, we say the leg of the, of the big triangle is the mean proportional between the piece of the hypotenuse that sort of right underneath it and the entire hypotenuse. And um, of these two, uh, this one on the left is more common. But I believe for this question, it's going to be the one on the right. Let's take a look. OK, you have f to p is 12, so they're telling you a leg. And e to m is 10, and they want to know m to p. So what we have happening here, I'll just draw it over here. Is that this thing is 12, this thing is 10, and this is the unknown. Uh, as you can see, this is basically the same as the second situation. So the 12 will be the mean proportional 
meaning it goes on diagonal from itself in this proportion, uh, between the piece underneath it, which is the x, and the entire hypotenuse, which is 10 plus x. Uh, cross multiply, get 1144 equals 10x plus x squared. Uh, rearrange this to x squared. zero. Uh, this is actually an unusual factoring. If you have trouble factoring, you could use the quadratic formula. But 18 times 8 is 144. So x plus 18, x minus 8 equals zero. Uh, so we get our answer of x equals 8. We'll just keep the positive answer since this is a geometry question. That factor is a little unusual, but 18 times 8 is 144, and you could use the quadratic formula if you needed to. Okay, moving on with, to what's probably the hardest question on this test. They want you to solve for all the values uh, between 0 and 360 for, of 3 cosine 2 theta plus 2 sine theta plus 1 equals 0, rounding all answers to a hundredth of a degree, and only an algebraic solution is acceptable. Well, this is only a four-point question. It's pretty easy to lose a point here and there. I'm going to go through this question. First of all, uh, on the very back of the formula sheet, you have your um, formula sheet where they have a couple of versions of cosine 2 theta. If you take a look, this is given to you in the region's function of the double angle. And of these three formulas, the one that's most relevant is this one because by replacing cosine 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, so we'll see what happens. So I replace, and I'm going to put parentheses here, 1 minus 2. I'm going to end up with a quadratic equation that just has signs in it. Uh, multiply the 3 through. Combine like terms. I'll divide through by 2 because there's an equal 0 at the end, so you're allowed to. And I'll also multiply through by negative 1 because I don't like this negative here. Um, this 3 here is annoying, but these things usually factor. At least 3 is prime, so it's got to be. And they're nice to give you a negative 2 there. Uh, there's not that much you could do with, um, with negative 2. I'll put the negative 1 here and the plus 2 there. What that accomplishes is that gets me 3 times negative 1 is neg uh, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So we end up with two equations. We end up with 3 sine theta plus 2 equals 0 or sine theta equals 1. Uh, sine theta equals 1, that only happens at 90 degrees. You could Think of a sine curve and how it has that one and only one place where uh, sine equals uh, 1, which is at 90 degrees. This other one's a little tricky. We end up with sine theta equals negative 2 thirds. That's going to lead us to two answers. Uh, the first of the answers you do by finding what's called the reference angle by doing the sine inverse of regular 2 thirds. On the calculator, I get uh, 41. Uh, sine is negative in quadrants 3 and 4. Only 9 seconds left, so I just did the two conversions, 180 plus 41.81 and 360 minus 41.81.